I welcome you to this session where we shall be looking at a glass of fish or pieces and uh, we know that uh, this class is one of the classes in the phylum called data as we have seen before we have talked about uh, class mammalia we have talked about reptilia we have talked about amphibians we have talked about the birds and now we are going to look at the fish the class fish is subdivided into two divisions the chondrichthyles and the ostachthyles but these two groups have a common or common characteristics that put them together into the same class as fish these organisms are called blooded vertebrates meaning that they cannot control their temperature very far away or very greatly from their surroundings and you will find that almost all the organisms that are found in this class they are aquatic or they live in water and another characteristic is that they obtain oxygen from the water via the gills now we have said that class pieces is divided into two groups we have a group which has a cartilaginous skeleton or the ones that we refer to as cartilaginous fish and then another group are those ones that have skeleton that we refer to as the bony fish the bony fish are the same as the osti ostichithyles and uh, the cartilaginous fish are the same as those ones that we call the chondrich thyles. We shall start by looking at the chondrich thyles, which are cartilaginous, cartilaginous fishes. We have the rays, we have the skates, the dogfish, the shark, and many other. You will find that these organisms are ectothermic. Their temperature varies with the temperature of the external environment. And you will find that they are cartilages. They are made up of cartilages. Their skeleton is made up of cartilages. The chondrichthyles do not have an opatula which covers the gill slits, meaning that their gill slits are exposed to the external environment. And also when you look at their bodies, they have scales, which we call Pracoiled scales and their fertilization is an internal fertilization whereby the female gametes and the male gametes will form a zygote, will fuse to form a zygote within the female body and they will produce young ones alive for the case of breathing 
they breathe through the gills they utilize the gills and they also have fins that are used or are helpful in locomotion you will find that the chondrichthyes do not have a swim bladder and the swim bladder is the one that helps the fish to float on water so we are saying the chondrichthyes are catalogous fishes and they include the race they include the skates they include the dogfish and at the same time they also include the sharks and many others that we have not mentioned we have seen some of the characteristics that put them in a different group and those characteristics are that they are ectothermic and they are cartilaginous fish with a cartilaginous skeleton there is no opatula no protection of the gills and fertilization takes place internally meaning that they can produce live young ones now when we go to the other section the other division which is the ostage thighs which we refer to as the bony fish these ones include the nylon punch the tilapia and many others they have a bony skeleton and have an opatula meaning that they can protect the gill slits under fertilization in the ostage thighs takes place outside the body they undergo external fertilization and they have the two chambered heart well as others have four chambered hearts the ostichithyes have two chambered hearts nitrogenous wastes is ammonia they release ammonia because they are in the plenty of water and the release of ammonia requires a lot of water they breathe through the gills and at the same time they can breathe in via the gills they are ectothermic depending on their environment and they have fins so we have said that the glass fish has two divisions the cartilaginous fish and the bony fish we have seen that the nile punch the tilapia are part of the ostacea thighs and they have the opatula they have two chambered hearts they have nitrogenous wastes in form of ammonia and they breathe by the gills and have fins so please bear with us thank you for staying with us come again for the session.